In our school watch and following up for you, we are taking a closer look into District 11's decision to release all of the staff at Mitchell High School at the end of the year. That created shockwaves across the community. News Science Mayo Davison takes a deep dive into the decision and the impact it could have moving forward. Yeah, the district made the decision after four years of being on the accountability clock. They're hoping this action helps to improve academic performance at Mitchell High School. This has really hurt a lot. It all started with an unexpected WebEx call in the middle of the day. It was 10 minutes of a prepared speech by our superintendent, not read by our superintendent. News that Holly Hafferkorn didn't expect to get. We were told at the end of the, ten of the speech that we were not allowed to ask any questions, that HR would be setting something up with us in the next couple of days. And they ended the call with, Remember, we care about you. After 15 years directing the theater program, she had planned to step down and take care of her ailing mother, a decision that was reinforced after learning she would be released at the end of the year. No, thank you. We understand this has been difficult, not even a face to face. She says every single staff member was guaranteed an interview within the school district, but not guaranteed they would get their jobs back at Mitchell. I know whole departments in the school that not a single teacher um, is coming back. The district says 20% of administrators and 70% of certified teaching staff are returning. 25 Mitchell High School teachers have been rehired, while 23 took positions within the district. 10 either resigned or retired, and 20 are still seeking assignment for the upcoming school year. When it comes to the support staff, 25 employees have been rehired at Mitchell High School, nine rehired to other positions, seven either resigned or retired, and 11 still seeking opportunities. The data and research is could be, could be not the best decision. For us right now in the moment with Mitchell, we believe through that collaboration, this was the best decision and the refresh was necessary. While it was a tough decision, he says it's all about moving forward and building a team focused on improving academic performance. This is an opportunity for us to come together, really focus on that opportunity and see what we can do together. The state education department says this particular action isn't taken very often and it isn't a part of the state's accountability system. Manual High School in Denver among the handful of schools that went down the road. They shut the school down and it was a highly controversial decision, impacted the community, um, and basically Manual has struggled ever since then. Enrollment numbers taking the biggest hit. Back in the day, 1,400 students roamed these hallways, but now it's roughly three to 400. We're still seeing the repercussions despite all the great things that we have happening. There's still a stigma in the greater community, right? And in parents deciding whether or not they're going to send their kids to manual or if they're going to go, you know, down the street. An issue that the new Mitchell High School principal plans to tackle right away. Re-engage the community, re-engage the staff, the students at Mitchell High School, and develop uh, a high level of trust. Smith says he's already gotten to work in developing a plan to ensure students are supported and thriving at Mitchell. It's going to be a culture shift. It's going to be community engagement, uh, leadership development, talent development, and that's instructionally, and then also um, quality instruction in the classroom. For Haffer Corn, the school year means the end of her teaching career, a decision that was tough to make but needed to happen. I have the opportunity to not have something fully lined up. So right now I just get to focus on being a mom. And that action was a part of the master plans unveiled earlier this year to improve facilities and curriculum district wide. They're still having public meetings on the master plans. Always watching out for you Colorado Springs. Mayo Davison, News 5.